All right, in solving problems according to the order of operations, you work within grouping symbols first, and these absolute value, the vertical bars are for absolute value. Uh, they are grouping symbols. Uh, parentheses are grouping symbols as well, but within this set of parentheses, there's nothing to solve. It's just a negative 14 sitting in there. Okay, um, over here we have grouping symbol, absolute value, and I could take the absolute value of negative 16. All right, um, my preference is uh, to get rid of, I don't like to have two signs in front of a number here. Um, so if you're not familiar with this, my, any of my videos or worksheets that discuss adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers do address this in detail. But what I do is I use the rules of multiplication to clean up these two signs. So I'm only having to look at one sign. So positive times a negative is negative and then I'll bring down whatever I haven't touched which is the 6, the 14 and I still have not taken the absolute value. Over here I can't just circle these and use multiplication because you're not allowed to send things into the absolute value um, let's call this the area within the absolute value symbols. You really have to solve what's in here first. There's no way around it. Okay, so we will go ahead and take the absolute value of negative 16. So the absolute value of negative 16 is 16. And now the last step here will be we'll bring down whatever we haven't used. And the only thing we haven't used that remains up there is that positive sign or that plus sign, however you want to refer to it. Okay, now within the apps, within this grouping symbols, um, the absolute value, we still can't take it. We got to solve what's inside here, okay? So positive six and negative 14, or the difference of six and 14, however you'd like to say this, um, that yields a negative eight, okay? But that's still within the absolute value. I'll bring down whatever else I haven't used. So I haven't used that sign or the 16. And then we will take the absolute value of negative eight. Let me slide this up a little bit. That'll yield a positive eight. Bring down what we haven't used. And then eight and 16, your last step is to simply combine those let me zoom out just a little bit. And you'll get 24 as the result. Okay. Um, back up here, if you don't like to clean this up, if you just want to read this as 6 plus negative 14, you would still say you have a positive 6 and a negative 14. The signs are different. You would subtract and keep the sign of the larger. That would take you to this step. I really like you to be in the habit of cleaning this up, but the uh, choice is yours there.